Okay, today we are going to do an overview of an introduction to fractions. So for the next two units, um, so until close to Christmas break, we're going to be working on fractions. We're going to be adding fractions, subtracting fractions, multiplying fractions. We're going to be doing a lot, so we really need to have a good grasp at the beginning of what fractions are. So one thing that's important about fractions is we know that they are equal sized parts of a whole. So if I have, if we know that they're equal sized, if this is my whole, look at this, did I make equal sides? Could I say each one of those are one fourth? No, I can't, they're not equal. That would not be a fraction. In order to be considered a fraction, we have to have equal sized pieces of one whole. Every, you guys see how much it takes to make a whole. So when you see fractions, you have two numbers. You've got a number on top, and then you've got a line, and then you've got a number on bottom. The number on top is called your numerator. The number on bottom is your denominator. Remember D like downstairs, so it's down on the bottom. The denominator is the total number of parts it takes to make a whole. The numerator is the number of parts that you have. So the denominator at the bottom is how many pieces is your whole broken up into? Your number at the top, your numerator, how many pieces are you working with? What do you have? So if we look at this fraction, and I shaded it funny to show you that it could be shaded like this on questions you get. I want to count, I want to find my denominator to figure out what this fraction is. So I need to count how many total parts are in this whole. So I'm gonna count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So when I write this fraction, my denominator, I'm dealing with twelfths because there are 12 pieces. It takes 12 pieces to make this whole. There are 12 parts. So now my numerator, I want to find how many pieces I have. They're going to normally tell me that by shading that in. So I need to count how many of these are shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the, no, the fraction that's shaded here is six twelfths are shaded. Six of these 12 pieces are shaded, so that would be my fraction. Now we do have what we call improper fractions. So I always like to tell my kids, we don't like dealing with improper fractions. So you're gonna have to kinda deal with them for a little bit, but then in a couple weeks, we're gonna learn how to get rid of them. But we don't like improper fractions because we're proper people. We want everything in our life to be proper. But we have to know what improper fractions are. Improper fractions are when your numerator is greater than your denominator. So your number on top is bigger than your number on bottom. That happens when you're representing more than one whole. Because we know that if we look here, if this was a pizza, that would be one whole pizza. So if we have an improper fraction, that means we have more than one whole. So we're gonna look at what that would look like right now. So we'd be really tempted when we were looking for our denominator to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our denominator's eight. But it's not, because our denominator is how many, the total number of pieces in one whole. So if I count one, two, three, four, my denominator is four because it only takes four pieces to make one whole. Eight pieces would make two holes. So my denominator can't be eight, it has to be four. Now for my numerator, I need to count. Okay, this is pizza. How many pieces of pizza do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven fourths is the fraction that I'm looking at. That's improper. My number on top should not be bigger than my number on bottom. But for right now, we're gonna have to just accept the fact that it is. So improper fractions happen when our number up top is bigger than our number down bottom. We have more pieces shaded than the number of pieces it takes to make a whole. The last one we have to talk about really quickly are unit fractions. Now for some reason, this is my fourth year teaching fourth grade fractions, four years in a row. My kids always struggle with unit fractions and they shouldn't because really unit fractions are the easiest thing. A unit fraction just means that the numerator, your number up top is always one. The numerator is always one. So if I wrote out um, two thirds, four fifths, one sixth, three sevenths. 
if I wrote out those fractions and I said pick the unit fraction, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what she's talking about. But you do. It would be the one that has a one as the numerator, a unit fraction. One is always the numerator. So you see here, I've got them shaded. So we need to figure out what my unit fraction would be. To do that, we first have to figure out what my denominator is. So I've got one, two, three, four total pieces. So my denominator is four. If I'm talking about unit fractions, my numerator has to be one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add these up to get something. So I've taken care of that one. Plus, we know this is a fourth. I have one fourth more shaded. I've taken care of this one. And I have one more fourth shaded. So everything is shaded. Now we need to figure out what my total is. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Right here I have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. And a lot of us are gonna be really tempted to say four plus four plus four is 12. My denominator now is 12, but it's not. When we add fractions, there are a couple things. Before we can add, we have to make sure, are all my denominators the same? If they're not the same, we can't add yet. So are all my denominators the same? Is it four every time? It is. So once I know they're all the same, my denominator doesn't change. It's gonna be four. As long as these are all four, it's gonna stay four. Now my numerator is what I add. One plus one plus one is three. So I have three fourths shaded here. I found that by finding my unit fractions. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. That is a unit fraction always has a one in the numerator. So if we do a really quick review, fractions, it's only a fraction if the parts, if the pieces are equal, they have to be equal size parts. My numerator is my number up top. That tells me how many pieces I have, what I'm dealing with. My denominator is down low, it's on the bottom, and it's the total number of pieces in the part. So we looked at this fraction, we said there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 total pieces. That was my denominator. Then we counted one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. That's my numerator, because that's how many pieces I have. We talked about improper fractions, we really don't like them. We're gonna learn in a couple weeks what to do with them, but for now, it's important for us to know that when I see problems like this, my denominator is not eight because my denominator is how many pieces does it take to make one whole? So that stays four. And an improper fraction is when your numerator is greater than your denominator because you're talking about more than one whole. Unit fractions, we make them harder than they need to be. All we need to know about unit fractions is the numerator is always going to be one.